Okay, here's a nice contour move. We just do the 2D contour. I like the 2D because you have more control than the 3D options. The 3D kind of auto routes a bunch of stuff and it's tough to, to get it customized. Whereas 2D, you need to tell it a lot more information. So it makes it kind of a pain, but it also makes it quite a bit more adjustable to your needs. So here we're coming in with the 3 8 flat end mill different tool I submit to you that is a different tool than a rougher we're just choosing this one chain we're not worried about rest machining or any of that because the contour just does a contour if this was raw stock if I took this guy and brought it up to here it would contour and destroy the workpiece and the end mill then we check the the heights we're just at the bottom height all this is doing is cleaning up those that leftover radial and axial stock from the rougher. Now we're going to rough past this because we want to get rid of the extra and then we don't want to have a nice skim coat. So all of this climb milling, you know, nothing. It just work through this and you'll get a feel for what you need to do. I'm just telling you the bottlenecks what I had. We want to tell it where to put the entry position because, and we have already, because it will do it on a random spot. And when the tool comes down, it'll leave a little mark here. We're also doing a lead in uh, two millimeters away, vertical and horizontal lead in so that we don't get a mark. And if you see here, the entry position is right on this corner where there's already a break in the material where you're changing direction um, so that you don't see a mark from the tool.